All right, we have Penelope Fabrique Goth Doll Series 6. When Series 6 came out, they only did three characters rather than five. She was just one of three. This is the one that I just got in the mail from eBay. This is the one that I've had for a few years. Because I have her hair in braids tied up, I put her eye patch on my new one. This one, uh, when I just got her, did not have her eye patch. So, <clears throat> Penelope here, you can see has this uh, needle through the eye, a little blood drop. So she, you can tell that this is like the seamstress character. And her eye patch underneath has stitches with a red skull. She has black lipstick. So she has two regular piercings, little dangly earrings on one ear. The other, she only has one hoop and then one stud up in the cartilage. And then she's got the Labre, that's what it's called, the Labre piercing. I couldn't remember it. As you can see, I put pants on mine and I don't have her with her boots on. But everything else is the same. I just wanted to show them by comparison. For some reason, though, Penelope has a kind of a pink, smudgy nose. Almost kind of like how she's got like a cold developing. I don't know uh, what the came from or how to actually do something about it. But anyway, she has got this beautiful, luscious leather coat and it buttons up in the front. Actually, it's kind of hard to button right there at the breasts and any woman with big breasts will let you know that that's a that's something true so she's wearing this little mini crop top with the cravette right here the little ruffles around the throat and then she has fishnet tights with the painted on black panties now when you take this off of her you have to slide it down because these chains are connected in a way that there's no snap for them. There's no way that these come undone. So you have to slide it up her up her arms and then attach. You can see here she has these really tall platform boots. And these boots have spider web detailing on the front and a spider on the top. Two, three, four, five buckles, buckle straps. These are pretty kick ass. And then the heel has a spider web on the back. She has luscious black hair. And it's long and flowing in the back. But in the front, she's got two little ponytails, which at the base of each ponytail, a, uh, a strand of hair has been wrapped around the base of the ponytail like a cone and it's wrapped around four times so it sticks out it's like the width of my finger <sighs> see really it makes her profile like very distinct now this one, her hip is a, her hip is a little loose, so she she wants to lean back. <clears throat> I bought these from a Canadian seller. I don't know how he had his dolls, uh, whether they were stored with, played with, however, but sometimes that happens to the, these girls. Their uh, their hip joints can get a little loose. And I, I do love the uh, the satiny red interior. This is definitely a coat that you would you would see in like a 
you know, a romantic or a badass vampire movie or maybe something like The Matrix, but with just a little flair to it. The ruffles are attached to the sleeve of the coat. You could cut it off if you wanted. I mean, if I wanted. I mean, um, since I have doubles, I've been thinking I might actually try to repaint a face that I, I've seen so many tutorials and you know results that it's like it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't hurt to have one to practice with until I can work with it and because she doesn't have any studs in her eyebrows and just the one here on her face I really don't have to worry about uh, working with anything that'll catch onto the metal or because I, I could probably remove this yeah I can remove that there we go oh shit yeah it's just a long pin. I can remember.